Hey everybody, it's Chris here at It's Mead Made, and today I'm going to be talking about my post process for my 3D printing. Uh, I have been documenting my entire journey of creating my War Machine armor, and I just want to help people step by step to show them the processes I've learned along the way, and this is one of those videos. So this is straight off my 3D printer. Uh, you can see how gross it is. So you can see the layer lines here, and this is exactly how this one was. Uh, you can see the layer lines in here, and even flip it over, you can see those layer lines. Because I'm printing these super fast, and the resolution isn't that great, because I'm just trying to get them printed, knowing that I'm going to be post-processing. Um, so you can see here, let's zoom in here. It is nice and smooth and you don't see anything. And this is just primed. I haven't done a final paint job on it in anything yet. So this is just primed and ready for paint, but I wanna actually get the helmet together before I actually uh, start doing a final paint job. And I want all of the pieces like this done. So this is the side plate. So if you see here, that's the jaw and it's gonna fit on right there. So this is the side. Um, I've actually done the side and the bottom, and today I am just going to show you all of the steps that I do. So I use a few different things, uh, like wood filler and primer, and I will put the links to these in the description to show you everything that I use. And uh, please, if you like what you're watching, don't forget to hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it to support the channel. All right, so that all being said, let's get to the process. I have sanded these down. These are the sides to the helmet for my uh, War Machine armor. And what I've done is I sanded it down really good, and then I just covered it with, I did a skim coat of wood filler putty, which this is the kind I use. And once I got it on there and it's all dry, then I go through and I sand it down with a 220 grit paper, sandpaper. And I do that uh, kind of softly. I don't do it too hard because I don't want to gouge it. And then what I do is I go and get a 320 sand sandpaper and do a final pass on it. So it's really nice and smooth and it's filled in. Let's see if I can get that and see all that. It's filled in all of these little cracks uh, from you know the layer lines, and it's smooth to the touch. And now it is ready for the primer. And I'll jump to the primer and show you what it looks like with that full process. Okay, so I have gotten my first coat of primer on the side plates and the back of the head. Uh, these are gonna go like that. But you can see that the putty filled in a lot of the lines, but there's still some that I could not see until I got the primer. So now I'm going to go ahead and sand this down and try to get it smooth and then add some more putty. But for the most part, a lot of the surface is nice and smooth, except for a few lines here and there. So a little bit more sanding and puttying, I should be able to get rid of all of these lines. So you can see there's some bigger spots here that I could not see, and I definitely wanna get rid of those because I want this as smooth as possible. Some of these edges are gonna be a little hard to get, um, and I'm gonna have to basically make a little tiny sanding block, but it shouldn't be too bad but overall you can see how smooth this has gotten now it's really can't see the layer lines in comparison to the back side of where you saw all the layer lines and the front was just like that it wasn't that great of a print i didn't have my quality uh, that great and i was printing it super fast to just get it done since i knew i was going to be doing this so if i slowed it down I could have gotten some uh, a, a nicer quality and not had to do this as much, but I'm not really that worried about it. So now I will sand this and show you what it looks like after I've got it sanded and ready for another coat. 
So I'm in the middle of sanding and one thing I wanted to note is see these edges right here? Um, how I keep sharp edges even with putty and sanding and stuff is I'll actually take a utility knife or an X-Acto blade and keep cutting those edges to make sure I get a nice hard edge. And let me cut it and I'll show you what it looks like here. So I basically I go along the edge here and just keep cutting it and making sure that the globs of paint don't stay because they can start globbing up and I want to make sure I keep those hard edges and definitions. So. Now you can see, keeping those edges nice and sharp. So I'm going to keep sanding this and then I'll show you the rest. Alright, so here it is after I've sanded it down and I definitely have to putty this area and uh, a little bit up top here and I've got a little gouge right here. I think I must have nicked it somehow but I'm gonna go ahead and putty that and I'll show you what it looks like after I putty it all right so I've added my wood filler on here and just scraped it in there now the first pass is not gonna be the greatest because I know I'm gonna miss but it's really hard to get these hard corners and stuff so I'm kind of focusing generally on bigger areas and I think the biggest thing to say when you're doing the wood filler is you want to go perpendicular to the layer lines so i'm not going to go this way because it won't actually catch so when i'm scraping it i'm going perpendicular and going against the layer lines so all the wood filler will catch inside those layer lines so i'm going to let this dry and i'll sand it and then it'll be ready for another coat all right, so I have sanded all the putty down to fill all the holes, and you can see here that, you know, there's putty in the holes. Uh, like that little hole I got right there, that little nick. Um, but I've got it sanded pretty good. I took my X-Acto blade and cut all the ed edges and got the paint off of the edges so it's not, you know, clumping up there. Um, then I did my 220 sandpaper and then I did my 320, uh, coat on it. And after it was done with that, then I just took a damp, uh, paper towel and wiped all the dust off. And now it's actually ready for the second coat of primer. And it might take one more coat after that, but that is the entire process. Uh, let me get this spray painted and then I'll show you the end result. Okay, so now that I've primed it, the second coat of primer, this is looking really good. Um, let me see if I can even get it to focus. It's so smooth. Uh, I did accidentally hit it against something right here so I'm going to have to sand this and hit it again to get it even smoother but for the most part I got everything really smooth um, and that is my entire process of uh, the post process for my 3d prints and cosplay armor and you can do this with anything with 3d printing for sure I still have a little bit of you know uh, layer lines that are showing up a little bit right there if you can see it but I'm really not too concerned with this. Since this is going to be War Machine, I'm actually going to make it look battle damaged and a lot of nicks and stuff like that. So I just wanted to get it as smooth as I can in a couple passes. But after I do all of the weathering and stuff like that, you're never going to see any of this. But you can see how it went from... Just throw it on the other side. This rough surface to this nice, clean, smooth surface. So this is the left side of the helmet. Uh, and the right side is right here. And you can see it turned out really nice too. Very smooth. And in the corners here, there are some defects. And you know, I still could sand these if I really wanted to, 
but for the effect that I'm going to be going for and when I after it's done with the final paint I think it's going to look pretty good um, nobody's really going to be up like super close to this thing so I'm not that worried about it um, and the back this is the back of the head um, these turned out really nice um, they're pretty smooth still same thing you can see a little bit of the layer lines but when you go from seeing you know the inside here and you can see every single line to this I think it's a really nice result um, and you can see here here's the other piece but they're nice and smooth and they're great so before I hit it with the final coat I'll actually up up it my sanding to I'll use a 600 grit to smooth it really really nice and then after that then I'll do an 800 grit and that makes it like glass um, and it just turns out really good so but when it comes to just the post processing this is my entire process um, I will just basically wash and repeat and keep doing this over and over until I get the desired result but for a lot of this uh, two two coats and two passes work really well uh, that's all I did it for this and you can kind of see the result all right well thanks for watching uh, if you like this video please don't forget to hit subscribe and feel free to like the video as well uh, if you have any questions or comments leave them below and I hope you have a great day thanks bye